Lara O'Rourke and Famoctus. I'm here with Agri Direct today to talk about some of our products that we have on the market with the, uh, Agri Direct on their website. One of our products is the calf diarrhea testing kit, which is used to test scour samples in relation to testing for rotavirus, coronavirus, E. coli, and cryptosporidium. Basically, the advantage of knowing what is actually the root problem or the root cause to a scour is that we can treat the calf accordingly and treat them in the correct manner. Also, if we're trying to get to the root of the problem to solve it, we can use the correct disinfectant. The test kit itself is very easy and very straightforward to use. Basically, what we have is here, we have our seal pouch, which contains our cassette. So when we're ready to test, we open the pouch and we leave the cassette on a flat surface. We then have a bottle of reagent here. So what we do is we unscrew this and we take the sample on the corkscrew and, and we, without contaminating or touching it, we put it back into the bottle of reagent. If the scour is, or diary is too runny, we have a pipette here that we can use and lift the sample with it and put it into the bottle. Once we have the sample in the bottle, we basically shake that up, we break off the top of it, like just the wee nib, and it acts like a droplet bottle. So then, when we have our pouch, we just drop three drops of the sample into each of the wells, which will test for Rona, Corona, E. coli, and Cryptosporidium. We leave the cassette on a flat surface for 10 minutes, and the sample will work its way up through the each of the each of the wells so then we see we have a c line which is control and on this particular example here we see where the four lines have gone red which basically indicates that the test is working then we have the t line which is the test line which is the important line and as we can see here this uh, sample tested positive for rotavirus and was clear for coronavirus E. coli and cryptosporidium. So in this particular example, we can see that our issue with our calves in this instance was rotavirus and then we can treat the calves accordingly.